how to install and use Adobe Scam. First up, open the App Store or the Play Store. Next, search for Adobe Scam. Select the required app and install. Once installed, open Adobe Scam. The first time you open the app, you'll be asked to sign up. Once you've signed up, next time you open the app, it will just go straight to the main menu. You can use any of the methods to sign up. When you share any of your PDF scans, it uses third party apps to do that, so it doesn't matter if you're logged in with a personal account. Next up, we're ready to scan. Sometimes when you load the app, it will go straight to the camera. However, at the moment, we're on the main menu. We need to click the blue camera icon in the bottom right corner. Before you start, though, make sure you've got some work ready to scan. Now we'll move on to scanning. Next, hover your phone over the document you want to scan. Make sure that around your document, the table or whatever you're scanning on can be seen and try and make it so that the difference in color between your document and the table is as clear as possible. So try and use a dark background when you're scanning white paper. You'll notice that some blue circles come up over the picture. You don't have to wait for them. It will automatically find them anyway, even if you take a picture early. So to take a picture, we tap the circle at the bottom of the screen. You'll notice the picture goes into a thumbnail in the bottom right corner and that number will keep going up as you add more pages. Keep scanning until you've scanned all the pages you want to scan in, and then tap the thumbnail in the bottom right corner when you're finished. Next, swipe through the pages to check you're happy with the quality of the scans. You can pinch the screen to zoom in on different pages. If you notice that any of the scans aren't of the quality you would like, there are a number of options in order to modify them. However, we'll cover those in a later video. Assuming you're happy with all the scan, enter a title so that you'll recognize it in the menu and then tap save PDF. Next, we'll look at how to share your PDF files. If you want to send these from your college account, make sure that you first installed Outlook and set that up as outlined in the previous video tutorial. At the moment, you'll notice it says recognizing text on the PDF we just scanned. Unfortunately, this prevents us from sharing it straight away. However, we can get around this quite easily. First, go into the menu and choose preferences. Then, find where it says run text recognition on saved PDFs and uncheck that option. That way, it won't do it and you'll be able to send your PDF straight away. Scroll through the menu to find the PDF you want to share and tap the share icon. Choose Outlook as the method of sharing. Make sure to choose share link and not a copy of the file because otherwise you'll make your teacher's inbox become cl clogged up with large PDF files. Enter the email address of the person you want to send it to and tap the send icon. And that's your PDF sent.